Време на пандемия. Време за избор. От ръба на оцеляването до световните постижения. София на пътя на иновациите. Време е за среща на върха. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure being here with uh, you today at Innovation uh, Explorer Forum 2021 in Sofia. For the next 15 minutes, I will talk about moments of change um, and social entrepreneurship, what social entrepreneurship is and what we can learn from it and how it can inspire us to find our moments of change. My name is Marie-Louise Herito, and my moment of change uh, started uh, 15 years ago uh, when I moved to Southeast Asia with my husband, a newborn and a toddler. Singapore, aka Asia for uh, beginners. Um, this said, coming from Scandinavia and a structured uh, mature welfare system, uh, which uh, basically meant uh, that I was accustomed to someone else handling uh, the problems faced by uh, society and citizens. Um, today, as a side note, uh, the welfare system in Scandinavia, as you know, uh, very mature, uh, very structured, uh, but uh, yet uh, definitely under pressure. Coming back to my uh, life in Singapore, um, you all know there's a difference in travel and living, uh, meaning I have traveled Asia before and I, was, uh, I wasn't completely una unaware of the structure of society, though settling down and making a living for yourself and your family is a completely different thing. Um, so basically, if you experience a social uh, problem and wanted to see some change, uh, you needed to get uh, engaged. So my philanthropic journey began. Uh, after a while, I also uh, became an entrepreneur uh, and I set up uh, my own company. Um, and uh, basically to begin with is producing and selling a purely commercial product. So I was working with these two uh, paths for a while uh, with, very, with two very different sets of value creation. Uh, though both uh, with a passion. Uh, at a, some point, I came across social enterprise, uh, empowering women with skills training and work opportunities. Um, and that was probably my moment of change. The realization uh, of the impact potential in approaching societal issues in a social entrepreneurial way, bridging the work of the sectors and challenging their old perception of what their purpose are uh, and what the value they are to create. So long story short, uh, back in 2021, uh, I'm partnership director for uh, Reach for Change. Uh, and uh, please uh, connect on LinkedIn um, if uh, you want to continue uh, the dialogue. So Reach for Change in brief. Um, we are an international nonprofit organization uh, with uh, the mission to unleash the power of social innovation and entrepreneurship uh, to create a world uh, where more children and youth get the opportunity to reach their full potential. Uh, and our core products are uh, innovation labs, incubators and scaling readiness accelerator programs for social entrepreneurs working with children and youth. Uh, and beside our core programs, uh, we also uh, develop and run projects and programs with other implementing partners enabling uh, social innovation and impact. We were founded in 2010 uh, in Sweden, and we have since then had more than a thousand social entrepreneurs through our portfolio, uh, and they have created an impact for more than 5 million children and youth in the uh, 18 markets across Europe and Africa, where we have a um, impact footprint. So uh, 10 years ago, Reach for Change was founded uh, by a social entrepreneur, and we do support social entrepreneurs working with children and youth. Um, we support them in five distinct areas, which is to help them achieve proven social impact, to become financially sustainable, to build their leadership and team, to scale and to system change. Uh, but what is social entrepreneurship? 
Well, in short, it's solving societal problems through social innovation. It's identifying and solving a social, environmental or cultural problem in a new way through innovative products and services, often both user and beneficiary inclusive and developed. Uh, also in an unexplored and often risk willing uh, way. Um, it's built on cross sector partnerships and operating on market terms and thereby influenced by market mechanisms. This is actually uh, a bit of a paradox uh, because you can say who is the owner of the problems that social entrepreneurs seek to solve? Well, that is the state. Um, and now we add the dimension of the uh, state market uh, relations uh, and the uh, structural issues and barriers um, that uh, also bring in. Um, but not to overcomplicate it, leaving that aside for now, uh, and uh, just looking at social entrepreneurship um, in its core. So what can we learn from uh, social entrepreneurship? Well, it begins with a purpose, uh, a passion, a cause, a desire to solve a problem and to create change. Purpose is definitely spreading and it's becoming a buzzword, uh, but nevertheless still highly relevant and important. Purpose might be trending in these years uh, and in the years to come, uh, but it's not a quick fix. Uh, it's a long-term investment for people and planet. Any private sector, uh, corporate company uh, or company need to understand its purpose and impact if it wants to be in business 10 years from now. It will be a demand from investors and customers. They can glance to social entrepreneurship for inspiration. The public sector can adapt a more entrepreneurial mindset, be more visionary and untackle the structural barriers, preventing them from investing strategically and long term. Social entrepreneurs might be social innovators, but not all social innovators are social entrepreneurs running fourth sector organizations like social enterprises, impact startups, NGOs, or nonprofits. Social innovators exist in all sectors, which support the adaption of purpose. We can also even take a broader term uh, where it's not about uh, occupation, but it's about a choice. We can all create change and be change makers, inspiring others uh, to be the same. It being in a close or a broader uh, community or context. So with this, uh, I only have left uh, to ask, what will be your moment of change? Thank you.